If you like researching your ancestors, how do you feel about the term medieval? Does that pique your interest? Does that put ideas in your head of what it was like hundreds of years ago? My recent trip to the UK focusing on two areas and one of them being Northumberland, which is in the north of England, is where one line of my mother's paternal side came from. This was so exciting to actually make the trip to see the towns or hamlets in the UK because I knew I would be seeing structures that were of an age that would be difficult to comprehend compared to the age of buildings in Australia. Not to mention the fact that unlike Queensland homes that were constructed using timber, which in turn were susceptible to rot or eaten by white ants, UK homes would be built with blocks, stone or bricks. An entirely different format. How exciting was this? To actually go to the church and look around to see how my ancestors lived hundreds of years before me. As I wandered through the church and graveyard, walking in my ancestors' footsteps, just knowing that some of the people who once lived in this area are now a part of me because I carry some of their DNA was so exciting. In the short period of time that I was there, I heard stories that I could only be aware of because of researching on location. Living there, especially in the wintertime, would have been extremely tough because everywhere you look would have been thick with snow. Everything would have been white as far as the eye could see. Unfortunately, tragedy can easily happen with the quickly changing conditions as some people lost their lives in blizzards and snow drifts. But these people did all they could to be prepared as the village is only a few miles from where the Scottish border is today. While it is unsure of exactly when this church was built, history shows that before the church, this location on the top of a small rise was where the ruins of a Roman camp stood. And some believe it would have been for those who watched the cattle in the summer months. The first mention of the quaint little church in any documents was in the 12th century, where it was granted to the monks of Alnick Abbey, which was only 15 miles away. Alnham Rectory, as it was once known, was located near Alnick Castle, but these days there's barely any evidence of a castle ever being there, so the church sits on the crest of a small hill by itself. 